Good afternoon on one of the cool, bright and sunny day. It is Tuesday the 17th of October. I've got a nice hot cup of tea. And a parcel to unbox. Let's get this open. Find out what I've got in here. Well, this actually comes from Loot the Room and contains that. Let's just slide this out. Um, this is the Moss Mother's Maze, an adventure for a dungeon game. So, the Moss Mother's Maze, an adventure for levels under three for use with a dungeon game. So essentially what that means as a dungeon game um, is it's any Dungeons & Dragons style role-playing game. So that can be Dungeons & Dragons. And that can be Labyrinth Lord, Lamentation to the Flame Princess, Old School Essentials. You take your pick. This, this will work with the, all of those. So, um, beneath a desolate moor lies an enigmatic maze. Its twisted corridors teeming with treacherous traps and remnants of ill-fated adventurers who dare to tread its path. The moth mother, mother guards her home against all intruders, but there are great rewards to be had for those that brave her hallways. Um, immerse yourself in a world of rot, rust, and rebirth, where, um, um, where, uh, and the echoes of the buried legends um, um, stalk your every move. So I'm not quite sure that might need to be an edit on the on the back cover blurb there. Um, so we open up. Um, and this is. Um, A lettered copy uh, it's a limited 26 copies worldwide um, and uh, there are 27 20, 75 numbered copies this is L um, and um, says this is not a place of honor uh, and we start off with the description which I have to say um, isn't particularly um, it's very perfunctory laid out, just from the from the look and style of it. Um, but, uh, and then you know we've got simple description, the village, the landscape, notable residents, and then we're into the entrance um, of the maze itself. Um, but, uh, a maze is a sort of like you know been part of role playing and. You know, you have the whole idea of the labyrinth itself has always been kind of fundamental to uh, Dungeons and Dragons style role playing and role playing itself because it started with Dungeons and Dragons. Um, so there we have the maze, um, strange uh, kind of um, I say labyrinth of corridors and locations. Um, but, um, we have encounters. And then details of um, a dragon of living stone, which is the Moss Mother. And there's a nice, um, got a nice cloth um, bookmark there. And then we get into room keys one by one. So actually, not very much to see because it's not illustrated so far. Um, rather plain, um, as you can see. Oh, I tell a lie. Uh, we have the intelligence contained in the blade has been asleep and is delighted to be awoken. So yes, it does have illustrations, um, but they're not particularly, they're not immediately obvious, but that's really quite nice. Um, but the layout is very perfunctory. It's a little bit tight as well. Um, And then we have, um, they fill with air with a sweet almond odour. The illustrations are really very nice actually. Uh, just from those two, I'm sure there'll, there'll be more. Um, but, uh, he has forgotten his name. I'm, I'm really liking these illustrations in here. Um, but, uh, and we have a closer up section of passage there which 
is show you on the map just back a few pages which I'm presuming is that bit there Sorry, I my pages a bit mixed up there and then we have a further labyrinth, a, a more traditional circular labyrinth. Um, yeah, I mean, sort of our ideas of mazes go all the way back to what it's myth and um, so on, and you know, with the with with, with the minotaur and so on. And then we have uh, Worms of the Earth, a novella by Chris Bissett of Loot the Earth. Um, so the adventure itself is actually relatively short. It really it actually just runs to uh, 34 pages um, in the book, as you can see, that's it. Then you've got the novella. I'm just flipping through. So, you know, I'm just looking to see if there's any more illustrations, anything more that would possibly make it stand out. Um, Uh, so um, that's the novella and then beyond that we have a dungeon game which may may well be the rules for um, it's basically a dungeon game is a living document that I intend to continue expanding out to this version represents uh, the state of the game as of June 2023 Three. So you've actually got a set of rules with which to play uh, the Moss Mother's Maze. Um, so, you know, guidance through roll your attributes, um, determine health, roll an occupation. So that could be brewer, burglar, healer, trapper, weaver. Um, choose a scar or two because life hasn't been easy for you. Um, possibly learn magic, finalise your character, and you're ready to go. Um, we'll follow with an, an example of play. Don't even necessarily have the rules that yet, but there's an example of play. Uh, before we actually do get on to doing things, you know, attribute checks, saving throws, um, exertion, and then we have violence. Making an attack, ranged attacks, using scars, uh, ritual, uh, rituals in combat, being attacked. Um, so it's looking like sort of like something very similar to, um, to yeah, it, um, it's not quite the black hack. It's it's more akin, I suppose, to the knave or uh, mazes or something like that. Um, so you've got different things in there, just as you would expect. Any of the morale. Highly morale, um, timekeeping, um, outside of the combat and inside the combat round, magic, um, and this is done. But well, basically, there's an, you've got like a, quite an open system of magic there with different words being used um, and combined for different effects. Rituals, rules for rituals, um, safe rituals per day, mishap that might come about because of you, you, um, you, you roll badly in the casting of your magic, using spells from other games, scrolls, creating scrolls, using scrolls, using scrolls in combat. Quite a long section on scrolls there, I should say. Um, uh, we're using scrolls, damaging scrolls. Adva yeah, quite a long section on, on, on scrolls. Advancement, um, equipment, arms, armor, adventuring gear, armor and shields. Um, oh, we finally get onto enemies. And there's a short section on hirelings there. Best freeze, bear, black pudding, carrying crawler, crawling hand, doppelganger.
sort of like the classics of the genre. So on. Um, and then you've got a quick reference sheet at the end there for a dungeon game. And there we are. Um, that is um, the Moss Mother's Maze, an adventure for a dungeon game, which indeed actually co does come with a, with a dungeon game. This is published by Loot the Room, um, and you can probably still get a copy, but not obviously a lettered or numbered copy. So anyway, hope you've enjoyed this unboxing in the Nook. If you have, then please do click on the like button down below. And of course, if you've got any comments or feedback, I do appreciate you taking the time to post those. And lastly, if you want to be alerted to more unboxings and look where you will see me out here um, with a box or package containing a book or game, or in this case, sort of like a, a scenario stroke role playing game, which I'll unbox, uh, unbox and chat about to the best extent of my knowledge for roughly 10 minutes or so. All of course accompanied by a nice little cup of tea. Then, please do click on the subscribe button down below. Thanks again for watching another unboxing of the Nook. Back again soon with another one. Bye for, bye for now.